Hi, this is Wanda from Melanda Craft and this is our Quilt Blocks channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a snail trail block and this is the one we'll be making in the tutorial. But as you can see we've done some here, we've done four in the Japanese fabrics and we've used contrasting fabrics for each block. However you can use all the same colour to make your quilt or whatever you're going to make and it will look just as beautiful. These aren't lined up at the moment but once they're sewn together they will all line up beautifully. So let's get on and do it. So here's what you need. Now you need two contrasting colours, so a light and a dark always works well. And what you need to do is cut from each of those a 5 inch square, one at 3 and 3 eighths, four at 3 inches, and two at 2 and a quarter. So you'll cut that from each, each colour. Now before we go any further, I'll just let you know that all of the measurements that you need for this, plus the written instructions, will be on our website www.alandacraft.com. Okay, so now let's get on and start this block. So what I'm going to do is take my two 5 inch squares and I'll place them right sides together, one on top of the other. Now I'm going to sew around the edge with a quarter inch seam. So I'll go and do that now. So we sewed around the edges because we're going to use these squares to make our half square triangles. So as you can see, I've sewn around with a quarter inch seam. So now we need to cut these on the diagonal. So what you do is you take your ruler and you place it from corner to corner and you slice. Now you can see I've already done one side. So I'll just flip that round. And here we go from point to point, I think you call it. And then we're just going to slice. And this creates our half square triangles. So now we just need to go and press these and we'll press these to the dark side and then press them open. So you can see here I've pressed my squares open so now they need to be trimmed down to three inches. I'll quickly show you how to do this but we do have a detailed video about uh, squaring up half square triangles and we'll put a link in the description below. So the first thing you need to do is line up your 45 degree angle on the seam line. Make sure that you've got a bit of excess here from the three inches and then just trim across there and across there sometimes a bit tricky on that angle okay and then we've just flip our square around do the same thing again line up the 45 degree angle but this time we're going to make sure that the three inches is actually on the edges of the square and just give her a try Okay, across there and across the top. Alright, so there you are, you have a three inch square. Now I'm going to do that with all of these, so I'll go and do that now. So now that I've trimmed up my blocks to three inches, the next step is to cut the pieces that are three and three eighths into triangles. So we're just going to take one and go across here point to point and just slice it in half. And we'll do that with both pieces. So now we're going to assemble our block. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my three inch squares, the light ones, and I'm just going to pop them down on the table like that. So those two go there. These two come at the other end, just here. Leave yourself plenty of space because you can always push it together later. Now take the three inch dark squares and they go like that. One there and one there. And up the other end. Okay, so that's the layout for your three inch squares. Now you can pop your half square triangles in. So your half square triangles go one here, and then see what I mean? You can just move it up. And this one goes here. And that one goes there. And the last one goes there. Okay, so now we have our outline for our snail trail. Now the next thing is to take our triangles and we put these the dark ones go there the opposite one goes so they're always opposite and then we put our light ones in and again opposites so you can see it's coming together so the last thing we need to do is take our two and a quarter inch squares and we're going to just pop these in here so your dark ones go one at each side one at each side. And that's our layout. So now we're going to start assembling the block. And we're going to start with the middle. So we've got the 
the uh, small squares in the middle here. So we place them right sides together, one on top of the other. And we go down and we sew them with a quarter inch seam along here. So when they open, they'll be sewn together. And then we'll just place those two over there and sew along here. So I'll go and do that now. So you can see that I've sewn the four squares together and when we've pressed them, when we've done the two squares, we've pressed them to the dark side and then when we've done this centre uh, seam, we've just pressed it over to one side. Okay, so that's all nice and neat. Now we're going to add our triangle. So what we need to do is we take our triangle and we lay it across the edge. Now you'll see that there's some bits that poke out at the sides. Don't worry about that. The most important thing you need to consider is to make sure that this point sits exactly on your seam line. So we'll do that and then we'll pin it and we'll go and we'll sew it with a quarter inch seam. And we'll do exactly the same with the opposing light piece. We'll lay it on there and we'll make sure that that sits exactly on the seam line and we'll sew that. So I'll go and sew those on and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we've added our first set of triangles and as you can see we've got our pokey out bits there which I'll trim off in a moment. Now, what we've done is we've pressed the seams out towards the triangle. So I'll just grab my ruler, just line it up along the square and just take those bits off. Right, I'll do that on the other end as well. But what we're going to do next is we're going to take our other triangle pieces and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to line them up against the edges along here and it's most important that we get this pointy bit on this, this seam line here. Okay, so we, that's the most critical part of this piece of the block is to make sure that that point lines up along here. So we'll do that with both of them remembering that I will be cutting those pieces off. Okay, so we've done the center piece now. It's all done, so what we need to do is just trim off these little corners here, and I'll do that shortly. And then it's time to start assembling the rest of the block. So what we'll do is I'm going to do this row first, and I'll put the right sides together, and so with a quarter inch seam, the same over here, right sides together, quarter inch seam, and then when they're both sewn together, I'll come back and sew them down the middle to join them into a row. And I'll do that with both ends. Okay, so we've sewn our top and our bottom rows together. And as you can see, we've pressed the seams towards the center, these outside seams. And this middle seam has just been allowed to go how it wanted to go naturally. If you turn it the other way, it's going to create more bulk down the bottom here. And we try not to do that. So just let that go naturally that way. So the next step is to sew our side seams. So again, we take these two pieces, lay them one on top of the other, sew with a quarter inch seam, and the same on this side. So I'll go and do that and uh, come back shortly. So we've sewn those two lots of squares together. And as you can see here, we've just ironed them to the less bulky side. So it's not critical with these side pieces. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to take the side pieces and add them to the middle piece. So just lay right sides together, sew it with a quarter inch seam. Now the only thing you need to be aware of here is that this seam line needs to match up with this pointy piece here. Okay, so when you sew that, make sure the seam line and that pointy bit match. And the same on the other side. You lay that together and just check that your seam runs in line with the point. So I'll go and do that now. So we're in the last steps now. We've sewn all that together. And as you can see here, we've, sewed, we've ironed those, those long seams to the outside. And that means that these seams will nest nicely. So we're going to take the top piece and lay it over the middle piece. And see what I mean there? It seems nesting nicely, so you'll get a nice neat finish on the outside. So I'll go and sew those pieces on now. And then come back and show you what we've got. Okay, so our snail trail block is finished. Now, if you've liked this tutorial, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget the written instructions and what you need to make this block will be on our website, and we'll put the link in the description below.